Hi again. Uh, we're working in the same file in Adobe Camera Raw 7 in uh, Photoshop CS6. And we worked, let's just fit this in view. We've worked uh, this file with a bit of uh, work in the basics panel. You can see there we've slid those slides around, uh, had a bit of a play around. We also went into the uh, curves, the point curves. We looked at the new uh, red, green, and blue uh, curves that we can play, and we can actually uh, get something of a cross processing look going on here. And it's fine, you can fine tune, you can drag those about and uh, really get a, an interesting look to your images. And we worked on the shadows and the highlights in the blue. And we looked at the basic again and again fine tune it. Um, one of the things we can do with this, if you want to save it, if you're shooting like I did, this was a, a single flash uh, with a 50mm lens and 400mm, I can save this. And if I've done lots of shots, I can use this as a preset and apply it to all my other shots. Now you see there, all the checkboxes are clicked. We've just worked on the basic, which I'm going to click on there, which shows us all those there. But we also worked on the point curve. So I'm going to, as you can see there, the point curve. Uh, I'm going to add that in. So just click on the point curve there. Now I can save that. And it's going to save everything we've just done so far as a preset. So we can actually call it up again. Uh, so I'm going to save it. Uh, it'll bring up this uh, dialog box. Uh, call it what you want. Uh, try and call it something that you can remember. Always useful. Uh, so I'll just call this one single flash. And uh, you can see my fantastic typing skills on show. And it's the photo booth which I use at weddings. And it's CP. Just to remind me, it's a cross process look. So I'm just going to save that in there, roaming Adobe Camera Raw settings if you need to find out where your presets are going to be saved. And I've saved that and uh, hopefully if we go into our preset box down here you can see straight away it's saved as a preset uh, down the bottom. And we can use that. I want to go back in here and I just want to clean up and uh, get all these back to the start again. And if I go back to single flash photo booth and CP and click on it, it will apply that preset. You can see you can apply different presets, you save all different presets, make sure you keep a note of what they do, or you could just scroll through them if you wanted to. But I'm just looking at a single uh, uh, Photoshop CP photo booth, one that I did. And you can see that it applies exactly the same points on the curve uh, in, in the red, blue, and the green. And uh, it's not written in stone, of course, because you can actually go in there, and because it's only instructions running into our raw file, you can fine-tune it from that point onwards so a fine-tuning a preset so let's just go back in we didn't do anything to the sharpening at all nothing's been added there nothing's been added to this at all uh, we can go and change things around of course and if you want to you can change the hue of the thing again we can just fine-tune your preset you can save that as another preset now this time i'm going to leave everything clicked uh, and just save that Again, call it what you want. Call it a name uh, that you can remember. <laughs> Always useful when you're coming back and thinking, what on earth was that one for? So I'm just going to make sure it's photo booth again and uh, just CP for to say it's cross process. And there it is again, CP photo booth to, and you'll just get a list, uh, alphabetical list in your preset box here. Uh, numbers first, of course, and then alphabetical after that, which you can use on any RAW file that you bring in to Adobe Camera Raw 7. And I said before, it's really good that uh, you can migrate all your presets across from previous versions. Well, I, previous versions, I'm saying I had Adobe uh, CS5. I'm not sure if uh, CS3 or CS4 presets will come across, but um, that's for you to find out. <laughs> okay, that's been me again. Uh, until the next time, of course. That will be a bye for now.